Today we're going to show you how to remove SnapDo from your computer. This is a combination of a toolbar and a browser hijack. So as you can see here, if we open Chrome, the initial page that open is search.snapdo.com. We'll do the same with Firefox. Same page. Now Internet Explorer. Same page. So with Chrome, we also want to check to see if it added any extensions. So we'll click here to the settings menu and then settings. You can see that it's being controlled by this extension. Go to extensions and it's here. And then we'll do the same thing in Firefox. Internet Explorer doesn't really have many extensions, but it still can be in there. Firefox calls them add-ons. We'll go to extensions. Again, the snap do. So it's taken over all of our browsers. So the first thing we want to do is go see if there's something installed on in our programs list. So we go to start, control panel, uninstall the program. And then here we'll search for SnapDo or web search or toolbar to see what we can find. And here it is right here, snap.do. So we'll click that and go ahead and uninstall. Yes, we're sure we want to uninstall. And it will probably ask for permissions. Yeah, down here it's going to ask us, do we want to confirm the uninstall? So click yes. So it's saying that we have to close all our browsers. They're already all closed. Sometimes Chrome does stay open in the background, so you want to check. We do have it, or it was open, so it's has closed itself, but sometimes it will stay open in your um, background. So it's all closed, so we'll click yes. We want to continue. And this is saying, do you want to take everything back to its previous default before SnapDo was there? So we do want to click yes. So that now that it's uninstalled, we want to go through every browser and make sure it's cleaned up. So we'll start with Chrome. It's still loading the search.snapdo. So we'll go to settings again. It's still using this extension to control it. So we'll go to extensions. And we'll click the garbage can to remove it. Now that it's gone, we'll go to settings. And it says open new tab on start of it, but we want to check this open specific page because sometimes it will hide in here, so that's gone. And we also want to manage our search engines right here because it's using web search, which is snap.do. So we want to go ahead, it's set as the default, so we got to change our default, change it to Google, and now we can remove it. So those are the only settings that you need to change in Chrome, so go ahead and close it open it back up and it is still there let's go to settings again let's click open a specific page and click set again it still doesn't have anything in there so let's go ahead and put Google and let's close it and reopen it again see if that changes it so there's nothing else in here that should cause it to do snap.do. So let's go ahead and switch to the next browser. We'll do Firefox. So it's already changed its search engines. Let's go to the settings. We'll go to the options. So its home page is just the Firefox home page. You can set that to whatever you'd like. Just leave it at Google. We also want to check the add-ons and extensions in Firefox. So it doesn't have any extensions. Let's see if there might be a thing hiding in the services. So, no, so it looks like Firefox is all right. The only thing we want to do here is make sure that we manage the search engine again, make sure that it's not in there and it only has Google. So we're good with Firefox. Close that, see if it opens google.com since we set the home page to that. So it opens. Now we'll check Internet Explorer. So it's going to msn.com. 
if you have a newer version of Explorer, this is Internet Explorer 8. Yours probably looks a little different. We'll set this to Google. We can see what search engines we have here by Manage Search Providers. And we have two versions of Bing. You can see toolbars and extensions here and accelerators. So everything looks to be good in Internet Explorer. Let's close that and see if it opens Google now. And it does. So the only thing that looks out of place is Chrome, which this one might be a browser, like a complete browser hijack, because this Chrome icon wasn't there before. Yours may be different because you might have the icon on the desktop, but I had all my icons down here in the tray. So that kind of leads me to think that they may have installed a new version. So what we want to do at this point, because it's not being cleared up by going into the settings and viewing the extensions as well as the set pages and the search engines, what we're going to want to do is run a combination of JRT and ADW Cleaner. ADW Cleaner first, just because it lists out the problems um, so you can actually see what it's found. With JRT, it just determines that since you're running it, it wants to remove it. So let's go ahead and scan. It's going to run through all these different folders. Really, the one that we want to see is Chrome. So I'm going to go ahead and click this tab and wait for this to run to see if it finds anything. So everything is searched. It didn't find anything specifically in Chrome. So let's see if it found anything else. So here in my shortcuts, it found that the actual shortcut to Chrome has been changed to the page. So if I right click this and click properties, it's probably going to be search.do or snap.do. Let's go ahead and check the one in the start menu as well. So see this one is different. So let's see if by opening that one if just Google shows up. So yeah this is the new tab. So basically these actual icons have been hijacked. So if we let ADW Cleaner run, it will go ahead and remove all those um, so that it's not using those because Chrome itself is fixed. It's just using these links, and Chrome is our default browser, which is why it used those instead of Firefox or Internet Explorer. So you can see search scoops, that's another thing that SnapDo will do. Um, so we'll want to go ahead and have those removed. So, yeah. so it basically infected these shortcuts and that should take care of it as well as a few registry entries. We'll go ahead and let this clean, let the computer restart and then we'll bring it back. So ADW Cleaner is now finished running. We can see that it disinfected these links. Um, but they're still there so it doesn't delete them so let's go ahead and click on them see if they open blank tab, which they do. So we'll double check all the browsers now. Chrome, Firefox, and Internet Explorer. And everything looks like it is all cleaned up now. So um, I would still suggest running Malwarebytes, JRT, your antivirus of choice to make sure it's all cleaned up. Um, but it, at this point, it should be taken care of. If you have questions on how to do something on your computer, please leave a comment down below. Or you can visit us at trenchtech.co. We have a lot of helpful information on there, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more.